welcome back to my channel. I have not filmed a video for this channel in what feels like way too long and it actually has been a long time. I feel like I often say that and it hasn't been that long but it actually has been over a month. I think at this point, it's just crazy. And I have a little bit of explaining to do with that. So if you follow me on Instagram or you follow my vlog channel, you will already know, but I am 13 weeks pregnant. By the time this video, is go video goes up, I'll be 13 weeks pregnant. So yeah, I'm pregnant and I've been feeling like absolute poo the past 12 weeks. In my last video, I knew I was pregnant. I can't remember which videos I filmed that I knew I was pregnant in, but the last the, little, the last month particularly, I've been feeling really, really, really bad. And yeah, I've just been struggling to do any filming at all, really. So I'm back, I'm feeling much better. I'm still having really bad days. I think it, for me, it's just been the morning sickness has been really what I've found really difficult. I've just had nausea all day and I've never had nausea before in my life. So I didn't really know how to deal with it. And then just like throwing up and everything, it's just horrible but I'm feeling much better. And on a day like today, I feel really good and just really excited to be filming again. So let me show you my little bump. Look at this little 12 week bump. I'm about 12 weeks and five days or something when I'm filming this video. And then this is going up. I think I'll be like 13 weeks and one day when this goes up. So it's still really early days, but very exciting. Obviously we're just over the freaking moon and we cannot wait. As you can see though, I'm still wearing a lot of normal clothes. I'm just sort of adjusting what I'm wearing and I've got a few maternity bits here and there. But for today, this isn't gonna be like a maternity haul video or anything like that. We're doing autumn outfit idea slash haul. I've got a massive bag of Hollister stuff. I've got ASOS, I've got Nasty Gal, I've got just loads of stuff that I've been collecting. I've literally been collecting this stuff since like the 1st of September and it's now like the end of September. I just wanted to do a really big autumn haul um, to make up for all my missing weeks. This video is sponsored by Hollister. As you guys know, I'm working with Hollister long term. And oh my goodness, if you do not follow me on Instagram, you won't know my freaking obsession with Hollister is literally growing by every piece that I receive from them. It's just getting a bit out of hand, honestly. I'm wearing my Hollister skirt and my Hollister cardigan. This is from last year when I worked with them. And ever since then, I've been obsessed. I have just kept trying to tell people they have changed their game. Like Hollister, I tell people, they're like, oh, I can't find jeans that fit. I'm like, try Hollister. And they're like, no, Hollister's not gonna fit me. And I'm like, right, Hollister has changed, okay? You just need to check it out. You need to try it for yourself. All the freaking materials are soft as heck. The quality is insane. The fit is amazing. Everything's stretchy. I just have nothing else to say. Like insane, they've changed the game. I'm obsessed with Hollister if you haven't realized. Um, but this video is part of my uh, long-term collaboration with them. So I'm really excited. I've got another little package down there from them as well. So I think we will literally start with this package and we'll just crack on because I've been speaking for far too long. Also, my boobs have grown so much. So they're just like absolutely humongous. And obviously my belly's growing and everything's growing. So I'm just sort of trying to size and just try and wear clothes that fit me for as long as I can. Okay, I'm just gonna stop talking now and just, just, here we go. What have we got here? Oh, the denim jacket. I'm so excited for this. Honestly, Hollister just have the best range of autumn goodies and I freaking loved this whole vibe of cropped denim jacket with like this, this. Just a little bit of different detailing on a denim jacket and the buttons, the buttons got me. The matte black, smooth, just freaking, just looks like high quality, you know? I'm actually gonna try this on with this outfit. So this is actually the Hollister skirt that I ordered for the story haul and oh my gosh, I cannot rave about it enough. Like I say, I do have a little bit of a bump but I know it looks like huge, especially for 12 weeks but I'm not, like, I didn't have a flat stomach before, so it wasn't gonna be, like, from flat stomach to, like, a little bit. Like, a lot of this would just be here if I wasn't 12 weeks pregnant, if you know what I mean. So I feel like people get confused by my bump, but I love it. I loved my bump before I was pregnant. I love my bump, now I'm pregnant. Oh my gosh, this is very nice. I need to get a mirror in here, actually, because I haven't, oh my gosh, it even came with rolled up sleeves. Like, whoa, Hollister is just too cool for me now. Yeah. Absolutely love it. I just feel like with a crop denim jacket, when they have something that brings in, and it's freaking stretchy as well, when if they have something that brings in the band at the bottom, it's just, it makes it like a million times more flattering because you just have, especially from behind, you just have that shape and it just adds to the like figure hugging look, but it's also super oversized. There's loads of room in the arms. This is a place 
where I struggle with, especially when you're trying to wear thicker knits or like you're trying to layer up for winter. I just make sure I'm always looking at the, and there's just loads. Look, you can see it's literally like balloons out at the shoulder. So you've got that extra room there and then it comes in in the waist. So it's just giving you all the friggin' room in all the right places. Yes, those are real pockets. Next in the bag, we have, Oh, I've been very excited about these. So this, if you saw the story haul, I feel like I've said story haul like a million times. I had this beige jumper, which I have been obsessed with, like honestly. I'll actually just try it on really quickly and show you and then we can hang it up as part of like, you know, the autumn essentials that you need in your life will be on the rail behind me. <laughs> I linked in the description. Yeah, so this is like an oversized, I know obviously you wouldn't wear it with a skirt, oversized like that. I just can't like explain to you the flatteringness of this over, like how is this so oversized and also so flat, like I just can't. And I've been wearing this with, actually I wore this with this skirt, this, this literal outfit I wore yesterday with black biker boots and I got so many compliments. And then also I wore it with wet look leather leggings and James was like all over that outfit and he never notices my outfits, like he never comments on them. He was like, where's that jumper and where are those leggings from? I was like, ah. if James is noticing, it's a big deal and they were both from Hollister. Just look, just the neckline, just everything. I just can't cope. Um, so yeah, I've been wearing it tucked into the skirt or baggy or tucked in with whatever, leggings, jeans, it's just, so floppy, so cosy. So anyway, I've been wearing this jumper literally non-stop. It really needs to go in the wash now. And so when I reordered, not reordered, when I ordered for this video, I was like, I'm just getting this in a different color because I'm trying to wear more color. Oh my gosh, I need to get a drink of water. I haven't filmed a video like this in so long. I've forgotten how much I talk and how frantic I get over clothes. So yeah, I got that in the medium as well. Sorry about that. My memory card ran out of memory. My memory card ran out of memory? Yeah, yeah, sorry. And I can't remember what I was saying two seconds ago um but this is it tucked into the skirt i freaking don't even need to say anything more about these jumpers they're just they're just the perfect autumn knit like they literally could not be any more perfect as an autumn knit okay with these jumpers i'm gonna try on the joggers next um so i ordered i was just really in the mood for some like oversized dad joggers. I think these are literally called, are these called dad joggers? I can't remember. I was just in the mood for some like oversized joggers for autumn winter this year, you know? Get them over that bump. But even if I didn't have a bump, I'd be in the mood for joggers because they're just comfy. See, I just freaking love Hollister sizing. I'll say it time and time a freaking again. What? These are like the softest freaking joggers ever, for starters. Yeah, so they're not like, they don't have like, the, you know that like the OG Hollister joggers, they've always been like insane quality and just so soft. But they have like Hollister all the way down them. Like this is the change in the game. They don't have, they have options for things that aren't like that. They have, this is the only logoing they have on there now, which is just like a really cute, the cute Hollister bird in a white. You can't even see it. You know it's Hollister, you know the quality's there. <sighs> Look at this freaking outfit. Medium, okay, my legs do not usually fit in a medium with things like this. These joggers usually don't have stretch when I've bought them from other places. This is just comfort, sizing, everything. Like honestly, just go true to size. If you're not sure what size to go for, just go true to size with Hollister because everything just really fits. And like I said, I do have a little bit of a bump, but not loads at the moment. And this just has a very stretchy waistband. This is super frigging comfortable for me right now. Um, whether I was pregnant or not, it would just be a fabulous choice for a comfy outfit. And this is just going to look so cute with biker boots or trainers. There are so many ways to jazz up joggers for autumn, winter. Like last year, there was just... So, oh, I don't want to take them off. They're really freaking silky soft. Very silky soft. The insides, they're not too thick. They're not like fluffy, fluffy, but they've got a soft, sweatery type of vibe on the inside. So they do have that like soft fluffy material on the inside but it's very very thin and then the outside of the jogger is soft as well which is a bit more difficult to find than the inside like the insides are usually soft but a lot of the time the outsides of the joggers are a lot rougher these are freaking soft okay so the black ones they also have black logoing so it's very very subtle now i actually got the black ones in a large because honestly i was so convinced that the gray ones weren't going to fit me in a medium oh. 
love freaking love these in the large as well just perfect and if you want them a little bit tighter at the ankle or whatever you can roll them up so one roll up basically makes them super tight on my ankles and if i'm wearing trainers i usually roll up my joggers a little bit just to give my ankle a little bit of a pop between the trainers and joggers if you get me gosh i'm actually loving this jumper with the black joggers i like that a lot a lot a lot a lot yeah same material same softness really nice quality what more can I say, guys? What more can I freaking say? Oh, yes. Okay, I'm so excited for this. I visioned this, like, over a white t-shirt. So I'm going to go and get a white t-shirt in a sec. So we've got two dresses. Again, I visioned this, um, like, over a white top and, like, long sleeve turtlenecks and all of that stuff for autumn and winter. So we've got two autumn and winter dresses to try on. I just thought I would quickly try this one on for you whilst I have the black joggers on just because they'll go... That'll go really nicely with the black joggers. This, you guys literally fell so hard for this on my stories. And I was like, yes, thank you. It's not just me who has an obsession with this jumper. And everywhere that I've worn it, I've had compliments and just people asking where it's from. It is freaking gorgeous. And I'll tell you what's even more gorgeous than the autumnal cute pattern and the just cut and everything and the little, like, nice quality logoing just down there is the freaking softness. It's like silky soft. You look at this jumper on the website, I was like, that is not gonna be soft. That just looks like it's gonna be an itchy mess, but I'm gonna order it anyway because I freaking love it. Silky soft. Silky freaking soft. Nothing more to say. Let's do the dresses with a white top. Oh my goodness, okay. This is exactly what I visioned. A little cute pregnant lady Instagram post. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. I freaking love, tell you what I love, the hem, the cut. It's shorter at the front and then just gets a little bit longer at the back. Oh my gosh, I haven't even looked at the back properly in the mirror. That is so gorgeous. Okay, so the only thing I would say is it's a little bit tight and I'm not sure, you can probably tell at the back, it's just clinging a little bit too much around here and with the straps. And that I will 100% say is probably because my boobs are huge right now. I mean, I know they probably look squished down and I'm wearing one of those tops which like flattens them a bit. Before I was pregnant, I was about a 32, 34, G, double G, and I just, I'm not sure how much they've grown yet. I haven't even been able to wear my bras or sort of have a look at what size they are properly, but they've already grown a lot. And so the, a size medium would be, it would just be like ridiculous if that was to fit in all clothes on me. So I'm totally understanding of that. So this is in the size medium. It fits everywhere else. It's gorgeous. It's flowy. This crinkled material, this like, I forgot what it's called, but it's like one of my favorite materials that kind of holds your boobs together so you don't have to wear a bra. I absolutely love and I like the tighter feel. In the medium, to be honest, I could, and oh my God, it has pockets. Okay, right, it has pockets. That is literally the dream. Put my phone in there? Nah, that has just changed the game. Honestly, I'm telling you, Hollis is just on it, like in a million different ways. That is just speechless. So yeah. I could go up to the large if I wanted a little bit more room on my boobs and a little bit more room in this area, but at the same time, I'm still actually very, very comfortable in the medium, and I just, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And it's also a navy, by the way. I thought it was a black on the website, I'm not sure why, it kind of looks black, I guess, in some lights. But this is black, and then this is navy. And this is the checked pinafore dress. Oh my gosh, this is exactly what I wanted it to be as well. Again, cute pregnant lady pick. I just love it. It's got stretch in it, which is the main thing that I was excited about. Like, a lot of these dresses do not come with stretch, but it has stretch. Hollister just knew what we needed. Um, again, it's a little bit tight on the boobs, but this is in the size medium again. What can I expect? But also, like the other dress, I'm comfortable. I could wear a medium, or I could size up to the large for a bit more room in the boobs. So freaking stretchy, like you just, just look. So stretchy, and then also the material is just really lovely. It just feels like very high quality material. <sighs> I love, I love so much. That was all the stuff that I ordered for, from Hollister this time round. The only other thing I wanted to try on and show you were these let, let? Wet look leggings from Hollister. Again, they have stretch, okay, I've been wearing these leggings 
ever since I got them. They were like a pregnancy saviour for me because they have stretch in them and they have a freaking like soft suede inside but they're not too sweaty. They're like really like flexible and just mould to your legs. Dream freaking wet look leggings. I've been wearing them ever since I got them because a lot of my, all of my jeans don't fit on my waist anymore. These bad boys saved my life. Just saying. So we'll try those on later. Let's do ASOS. We got the ASOS bag. These, I've already tried these on because I was just way too excited. I wonder if any of you guys have ordered these off ASOS because I'm obsessed with them. They're just a little bit too tight and I'm absolutely gutted because I'm not sure whether to send them back. So I'm a size five. I'm not sure whether to send them back and order a size six and then see what they are like, or I'm not sure, like, or maybe it's just meant to be a super tight boot, but they're so, so cute. But I can't, like, fully be like, oh my god, you need these in your life, because I not, I'm not going to be keeping them because of the fact that I won't slip them on if they're not comfortable. And that's just me being more realistic with myself, because in the past I always think, like, oh, I'll just let it go because they're so cute, but then I never actually reach to wear those items on a daily basis, so... I'm trying to be more sensible with myself. Um, the other thing that I got from ASOS, so I have two bags from ASOS. This first bag I already dipped a little bit into, and then the second bag I haven't looked in yet. This also, I, I love this colour. I can't remember what it was about this jumper, but it just wasn't, like, I tried it on, I think because I was just so excited to get it. I feel like I'm starting with all the negatives of this haul. Oh, see, that is actually cute. I think maybe I found it just, and obviously you wouldn't, I wouldn't wear it with this necessarily. <laughs> I think I just found it unflattering. I think it was like, I don't know. Maybe it was because at that time I hadn't got stuff to tuck into. Maybe if I had my wet look leggings, I could tuck it in and that would look cuter. So that actually is quite cute. Oh, let me try on the wet look leggings and then we can see this jumper with the wet look leggings. Cause I feel like I might be changing my mind about this jumper. Before I put the jumper down, I just thought I'd give you a look, full length look at the wet look leggings. <laughs> They're just incredible guys, they are so stretchy, this is in the size medium, believe it or not, so stretchy, so comfortable, you cannot go wrong, just love, just, just such a nice quality, such a nice look to them, like I said, James was raving about these and he never really notices what I'm wearing, so James, James said it first, we've got to trust his natural response, hmm, see that's different. I feel like I just got a bad, bad rep with this jumper because I tried it on with the wrong thing. Okay. Yeah, see that's a whole new, whole new game. Now I think I'm in love with that. And I love the colour. Like I said, I'm trying not to go too neutral this autumn even though I'm finding it very difficult. And colours like this just make me very happy. So I think I've changed my mind on that. I actually really like it and it's a nice material as well. And it feels really nice quality. Okay. Things are hung up behind me. So the next thing I have, I have not tried this on, even though this is still from the first package from ASOS, is this. Oh my goodness me, that's so freaking soft. What the heck? Oh my goodness me, that is like unbelievably soft. I didn't even realize the arms were literally all like that fluffy material. What the heck? <gasps> what the heck? Oh my God. Oh my goodness, that is literally the snuggliest thing. <laughs> oh wow, I've not, whoa, put on a coat that is that freaking snug. Like the inside of the arms are just so soft as well. And the whole thing just feels like a duvet. The only thing I would be cautious about is I don't think, obviously this is a very thin, sort of top underneath and it already feels not snug at all here. It's always the arms for me, it's always the shoulders. I don't feel like I would be able to wear a knit under there. But saying that, I always feel the need to wear knits and I'm not sure why because there is very much a beauty in layering a long sleeve thin top, say very similar thickness to this, long sleeved in the winter you're trudging about, you've got this, which is gonna keep you absolutely so freaking warm. And then when you get into a shop, it's boiling, you take it off, and then you've got a, a nice like long sleeve top underneath. So you've got the cold, and, like you've got cool and hot layers, if you get me, rather than having a knit under, and then I'm still boiling, then I've gotta carry the knit, carry the coat. Do you know what I mean? I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I freaking love it. I love all the detailing. I love the little fluffy bit on the there, the fluffy arms, the little bits that come in tight on the sleeves, the pockets, the whole thing. 
Wow. This is my new awesome go-to coat. I love it. Okay, so we have here, I haven't tried this on, but I have opened it because I wanted to feel the material. It's kind of like a blouse, like shirt material, I want to say. I'll try that on a bit later because I think I'm going to keep my wet look leggings on because I get so exhausted, guys, changing <laughs> for these videos. I'm going to keep my wet look leggings on now for the second ASOS bag. Cheers. And then try the dress on a bit later. Otherwise I have to change back into my wet look leggings. And I can't be bothered. Okay, next we have the second ASOS bag. Oh my gosh, I haven't... <laughs> got a bit of fluff in my mouth. I have another coat in here which I know I'm freaking obsessed with on the website. I'm going to leave it a second to try that on because I want to try it on with. So I've ordered, let me just get out this whole outfit because I'm just feeling this whole outfit vibe. Okay and that's a dress so we can try the last thing then. So I bought some maternity jeans, some white jeans. Um, I know that the maternity stuff won't necessarily apply to everyone in the halls but I hope it's okay if I just throw a couple of little maternity things in here and there. Also I would honestly suggest trying maternity jeans if you are like not someone that's going to be embarrassed about wearing maternity jeans when you're not pregnant which I hope I hope I won't be like that because I want to wear maternity jeans forever because they're the comfiest things I've ever tried on in my life literally couldn't stop wearing them because the waist is just so lovely and supportive. I haven't tried these ones yet and the ones that I have tried have had like material that covers your whole stomach so I'm intrigued to try these ones. Um, are they stretchy? Oh yes they are, okay that's good. So I just wanted white jeans that I could wear because I absolutely love white jeans for autumn and winter that you can pair with like neutrals so if I'm not going for like a colourful outfit I love like an autumn wintery all white or like all beigey like 50 shades of beige that type of neutral outfit. Anything chenille, is that how you say it, chenille? I love so much. Um, I got this in the large just because I wanted it. It looked a little bit cropped and the only reason that I'm often sizing up these days is just because, see this might even still be a little bit too cropped. If I'm wearing maternity things with like say for example this which is a little bit cropped, you when you stretch you can see like the maternity band which to be honest is not the end of the world so I'm not gonna worry about that if it's just like stretching up or moving, but a lot of the time like the crop stuff comes to here and then it's just like a navy like massive band and it just looks so strange. That is so unbelievably comfy and I love the neckline. Oh my gosh, we are finding some fantastic autumn finds in this haul guys, honestly. I feel like absolutely buzzing and I'm glad that I waited so long to collect all my items because I was being like very fussy with what I was ordering. I was trying to like, make sure I wasn't just ordering things for the sake of it and I was thinking like what do I actually need and what do I actually really want and what's going to go together and be paired in lots of outfits and stuff like that. Okay so these white jeans they're okay they're very comfortable still but I'm just not too sure about the look like towards the bottom and like where my ankle is they're just a little bit baggy um, I actually have some of the Topshop maternity ones and I absolutely love them because they just look like Topshop jeans all the way down and then they just have a like obviously maternity band on the tummy. This is good, I like this little band, it feels very supportive um, so I like that but I'm just not sure how much they look like normal white jeans that I would wear because I'm a very like tight, I go for very tight skinny jeans when I do wear jeans so I'm not 100% sure whether I'm going to keep the jeans but they are really comfy it's literally just the look and then this coat I don't usually go for brown I, I'm honestly not a very like I usually go black or white for my coats but I just loved the look of this I just felt like it was just screaming my autumn name oh my gosh that is also so comfy yes that was from the ASOS design wasn't it and I think I ordered this oh no I did order it in the UK 12 I thought I ordered it in a size up. See, that's now my little top. See, I just don't know how you wear maternity jeans with anything other than long jumpers because this whole outfit just isn't working now because of these jeans. The vibe that I was going for was like a neutrals outfit with then like this just really luxe brown leathery jacket type thing. Yeah, this feels very nice, very high quality, very fluffy inside and I am wearing a chunky-ish knit. It's not super chunky but it's definitely got some thickness to it underneath and it's really like, it's lovely. It's really flexible, it's got pockets, a little bit high up so you feel a little bit hunched like that. But yeah, 
it's very very nice I love it my outfit didn't quite come together this whole outfit as well as I'd hoped because I think the issue with brown is I don't really I struggle a bit with what colors to pair it with apart from whites and like nudes because blue jeans I don't think it goes that well with and black jeans I don't it could go quite nicely actually with black jeans like you could do like a black brown off-tone outfit so I'm gonna have to reconsider a little bit with my white jeans I'm not sure if the maternity jeans are gonna you know be up to the mark with that even just putting on this jumper and coat with the joggers already feels a billion times better because I feel like you can tuck you want the coat, well I always do, want the coat to come a little bit longer than the jumper and so with something that's not maternity I can tuck in whether it be like a skirt or anything and then have the coat over the top. But the coat itself is just gorgeous, like really really gorgeous and really autumny wintry. Um, and I love like joggers matched with smart coats, I love it when people match joggers with like double breasted like blazer coats and just blazers and all sorts so I'm liking that vibe. But yeah the coat itself is absolutely gorgeous oh my gosh so as i was putting this on i was literally like no no 100 percent no and then you know when like something's just hot, like you're just like but then you realize it's all bunched up and like when you pull it to the final bit where you pull it down it just goes whoosh, into like this freaking divine autumn dress oh my gosh i love it so much this was exactly what i'd hoped this dress would look like um the sleeves are like these like the stretchy things like that so you can really pull them up as high as you want and then have them like flowy sleeves that are like that so you can pull them up higher or lower depending on where you want them the comfort in this dress is insane let me just check the size it is a size 12 and i'm so happy about that because it has so much room in it it is not too tight on my boobs at all my boobs are sloping down a bit i don't have a bra on with this and the good thing is i could definitely wear a bra because it has coverage over the shoulders and at the back so if i wanted my boobs to be lifted a little bit more i definitely could wear a bra but knowing me I won't wear a bra because I just feel like it's so comfy and I just don't feel restricted in any way, shape or form in this gorgeous dress. I'm so happy, honestly, I love it. And I envisioned this with like chunky boots and then when it starts to get a bit colder with like tights and chunky boots and just like, let's see what it looks like with this coat. Oh my gosh, my autumn dreams have come true. <laughs> Freaking love this haul. This is a haul of dreams. Oh my gosh, that is even better. That is even better. Whoa. That with black chunky boots. Oh my goodness. I've just revamped my whole freaking wardrobe. I'm so in love with everything. Okay, what else have we got? Oh yeah, we've got another dress from ASOS coming up. Okay, so this is such a shame. Honestly, this color is absolutely, like if we just look at the color, freaking gorgeous autumn colour. This is definitely an example of a dress which just doesn't suit my shape. I'm not sure, to be honest, this could probably be solved by wearing a proper bra, for starters, it would probably solve a lot. Um, and now I've got it on, it's a lot more, it's actually quite, <laughs> I always do this, I put something on and I'm like, absolutely not. And then as I'm talking about it, I'm like, well, it's actually quite cute. I can actually see myself wearing this. I feel like I would have to size up. The initial reaction from me was the arms and this whole, like, this is very tight. And so I just go for comfort so often, even though I'm now wearing this, I'm like, oh, it's actually not that bad at all. Um, I have it in my head that it's not super comfy. So I feel like I wouldn't reach for it when I'm going to create an outfit but I really do quite like this actually <laughs> I feel like I just need to go a size up and then if I went a size up and wore a little bra or something I feel like it could be quite a cute outfit but as it is right now I just think it does not not looking too good okay and the next thing we have is the nasty gal package haven't shopped nasty gal in a long time so I thought I would have a little look at what they've got in store Oh yes, I remember what I ordered. Okay, I'm gonna put on the, what should I wear with this? Oh yes, I'm gonna put the black joggers on. Suspense. I just did that thing where I genuinely thought I was recording and I was chatting away and then I realized my camera just turned off because I never actually pressed record. Um, so the polka dot jumper, you just missed my whole intro for the polka dot jumper, it was very exciting. Basically just a polka dot jumper. Oh no, the, the quality of that is, the material of that is actually 
really nice. I'm not sure if my sensitive skin's just like not as sensitive anymore, but I'm not as finding as many things. I still do find things itchy, which is a good sign in terms of like, I obviously still do feel sensitive to fabrics, but I'm usually super sensitive. But lately I feel like either shops have been doing just a lot more soft feel fabrics or I'm not reacting as much to them because this, I wasn't really sure how this was gonna feel, but it actually feels really nice on the skin. And I just thought this would make quite a cute, like neutral but jazzy outfit with like chunky biker boots. Love a bit of polka dot for autumn. But yeah, the quality of this feels really good. And the whole just fit and feel of it feels really, really nice. I'm surprised. I'm impressed, Nasty Al. Very impressed. Okay, the next thing that we're going to try is this. I believe this is a skirt. Now, the skirt that I was wearing at the beginning of this video from Hollister, I found so just comfortable and just dreamy lately. And I don't really have many, I have like no other skirts that are like that. So when I saw this one on Nasty Gal, oh, it has a stretchy waistband, which is good. And I just thought, autumn or what? This is just autumn vibes. And also it's not very like me, is it guys, to go like a sort of out there pattern. So I feel quite proud of myself for jazzing it up and going for a cheeky autumn pattern. Oh my gosh, that fits so much like nicer than I thought it was gonna fit. I love that. So it has, like I said, a, like I said, a really stretchy waistband um, and just the whole skirt in general for a size 12 is just a really good fit. A lot of these skirts you find you just cannot move around in and you just find yourself really rigid in, but you wanna keep them because they look cute, um, but you never end up wearing them and they're just really uncomfortable when you do. This is really lovely, I must say. Like, it's a really lovely pattern. It's a really lovely fit. It's a really lovely material. Yeah, I love that. And then for a little snug cardi to go with it. Oh yes, that is very snug. Very snug, very soft. That is very soft. Oh yes, I like me a bit of that. See, that is a lovely little autumn autumn outfit we've got going on here. With black boots, I feel like I just wear everything in autumn with black boots. Snug, comfy, layering it up. So yes, it's a very fluffy, soft material. Oh, I feel like there's meant to be a button in the middle there. <laughs> Unsure whether it's meant to be like a funky two button or whether there was a third button. Well, love. Love a lot this whole outfit. I'm impressed. I especially love the skirt. I cannot wait to wear that skirt. Okay, next we have this leopard print dress. Again, I visioned this over a white t-shirt or a white long sleeve t-shirt. It's that like satiny, is it satiny type material? It's like very like silky. It's very similar um, material to the skirt. Probably the same type of material. It's like that very silky nice soft material okay so this is the little leopard print dress um it's not a perfect fit for me and also like if you guys have any suggestions of long sleeve tops that are just really high quality like i really don't mind paying enough or as much as i need to for a high quality long sleeve top that isn't see-through that you can just almost maybe even wear without a bra because i wear these um slinky ones and if they're fitting enough and they're like thick enough material they're like, they, they're tight enough to just hold your boobs in place, but obviously you have to double layer and then this is too thin. So if you have any suggestions, I've been looking everywhere, but I can't seem to find any, let me know. Um, so I've got that little issue there with the V neck, but obviously that could be solved by just getting a better long sleeve top or wearing a black long sleeve top. That would also look really good with this. I think I wore this basically exact outfit, like black long sleeve top, le leopard print dress and chunky boots last autumn because it's so similar and I love that outfit. Um, but obviously I have, gained a bit of weight since then so I needed to go up a size or two um, in the dress but being with my little bump coming along as well I'm just not sure if this particular dress feels the most flattering um, for my figure right now and it's just it's got no stretch in it or anything so it just feels a little bit it's actually a really nice like amount of room for a size 12 especially given the fact I do have a little bit more of a bump than usual and my boobs are absolutely massive right now it does have actually quite a lot of room so I'm really impressed with that but given the lack of stretch, which is totally normal in dresses like this, with my growing bump, I don't think this is going to be the best outfit choice for me at the moment. But the dress in itself, I really, really do like it. And then lastly, we have, I'm thinking, what am I going to try this on with? Hi! You want to say hello? 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 
You want to say hello? Do you like my dress? You do? You going on a walk with daddy? Bye, I'm not coming with you. I know you want me to come. Okay, so you're going to have to excuse the outfit. I have not put together the best outfit for this, to be honest. I just wanted to try it on and see what was going on. And I'm actually really in love with this. This is an oversized blazer. Now, it's pretty oversized. I can't remember what size did I go for. Yeah, so I went for a size 12. So it's very oversized. Um, I could even go down a size, to be honest. But I love the thought of this very oversized blazer for chunky knitwear underneath. Chunky knitwear and trying to fit a blazer on top is just an absolute no, 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 no. So having a blazer that is this oversized and then just like putting it over a chunky knit or something like that, I feel like it just works really well. I mean, it's a little bit magician-y slash dad. I think it's literally called dad blazer because it's so oversized, but paired with the right things. And I'm gonna have to have a little think about what like I could pair this with for it to be right. Cause even the arms and everything are a little bit baggy. so. I'm not really sure you know, what to pair it with, but even just with these joggers, we're still looking, still looking pretty cute. So yeah, this is a little bit, you know, out there for me, but I love the whole idea and like style behind it. Oh my gosh, I think that was everything. What the freaking heck? I'm just gonna like rearrange the little thing behind me and make all the clothes in a cute order because I love doing stuff like that. Okay, so I've arranged my clothes cute, cutely in the back. There were so many pieces that I absolutely loved from that haul. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're looking after your mental health and your body body confidence at the moment and lockdown and, and coronavirus and all of that has been really hard on people and their mental health and it's really good to just check in with yourself and just ask yourself how you've been feeling um, and also be really kind to yourself. Like if you have been feeling down, you got a freaking reason why. This has been such a strange year and it's been really challenging in so many ways. I also feel like autumn and winter is a time where you like, you're like, oh yeah, I can layer up. I can cover my body and hide my body. And I just wanted to talk a bit about that and just say, I just want to encourage us all to wear whatever the freaking heck we want to wear. Yes, tight things might show our body, our curves, our rolls, more than baggy jumpers. If we want to wear baggy jumpers, wear baggy jumpers. If we want to wear tight stuff, wear tight stuff. If we want to wear funky patterns, wear funky patterns. Because life is too freaking short. My favourite thing to say, which I know sounds horrible, is life is really short. And I try to think of myself as old in the future when I'm 80 years old and I'm looking back on my life and I'm just thinking, I wish that every year I just did what I wanted and I just existed as myself, however I showed up that year, however I showed up that day. I just hope and I wished that I had existed as myself and been myself and wore what I wanted to wear and just laughed and had a great life because life is short and we need to live it. If you're not in a place where you feel like you're like, oh my gosh, love my body, love myself, that's a, like a next level confidence. If you're not there yet, then just be body neutral. It it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you don't love yourself, but it doesn't matter if you don't hate yourself, you don't love yourself, you're just neutral. My body's here, it holds me every day, my legs carry me, my arms move around with excitement, my mouth helps me eat, my boobs help me feed my baby, my, my body is a creation to help me exist. And I'm not gonna pick apart all the bits that are not perfection with the society standard. Like just ignore that, ignore the body and how it looks and just exist, just be body neutral. I'm just existing in my body and I'm freaking awesome. But I'm not even awesome, I'm just neutral. And I'm just living life, doing what I want. <laughs> that was like a jumbled mess of a self-love talk. I feel like I just wanted to get like a billion different points out in that self-love talk. Anyway, I won't keep you guys any longer. I love you so much and I will see you in the next video. If you want to keep up with me in the week, I was like, what am I trying to say? If you want to keep up with me um, in between these videos, then make sure you check out my vlog channel, James and Karis. I'm over there a heck of a lot. Um, if not, I will see you guys in the next video or over on my Instagram, busyme.karis. Okay, I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video or on Instagram or on my vlog channel. Bye, love you, bye. Mwah.